Hey guys, it's your girl Cynthia with Life with Two Moms. And this week I'm coming at you with a new segment me and the wife decided to do called Tips for Tuesday. These are tips that we wish we would have known to help us out with El Bambino, the baby. started this segment is because there's a lot of things that we came across that we thought we were super expertise about or that we thought we could go without or we didn't need and in return we actually did need them and they would have been helpful and every week we will show you a new tip that has helped us that we wish we would have known that we've came across these past week that has helped us become better parents but no, not really, because honestly, these tips are just to help you get through the day easier and better with less stress, because everybody knows we all need less stress. My tip is my ultimate favorite, and I think it's definitely important because what I've experienced is a lot of chaoticness if this tip is not implemented. So with that being said, my first tip is have baby stations everywhere. What do I mean by that? I mean have a diaper, bib, wipes, a burp rag, a teether, a pacifier, anything that you need that baby needs anytime, have it in a station. So, for example, we have, um, I believe it's four stations, and in each station we have a little bit of different things, but also the same things. I'm going to show you our different diaper stations, explain to you why we have different things in each diaper station, what's helpful, what isn't helpful, and why we decided to make each section of the house or specific area a certain diaper station. So, I'm going to show you these our stations, and then I will be back with you. See you in a bit. Here's our diaper station number one. And we have more in this diaper station than other diaper stations as this is the one that we're in most often than other rooms. Uh, when we're watching TV as a family, we don't want to disturb the other person. We have to go get anything. And this is diaper station number one. Important to have everything that you need in the area that you need it that you're going to be in so here is diaper station number two we honestly didn't keep much in here at first because we did not think we were going to use it as much but sometimes when we're in here folding her clothes and she's just hanging out with us and she needs a diaper change or she spits up it's just easier to have things in here so what we keep in here because we don't use her room as much is just a little toy to soothe her she has a pacifier we have a bib and a burp rag just in case we're feeding. She has a little book. We have a lotion. Sometimes after bath time, we just lay her down on here and we give her a bath. So it's nice to have the lotion um, close by. And then we have wipes and some diapers just in case, like I said, if we're just in here hanging out. She has everything she needs in order to be comfortable and we don't have to get up. So now we have diaper station number three. This is the wife's side. She does um, all night shifts, so of course she has the most of everything. She has full thing pack of diapers. It has over 80 plus diapers full. She has a book to read to the baby at bedtime, as well as lotion daytime and nighttime. She has a bib and burp rag, bottle, formula. This is her little teether. This is her soothing toy, a hairbrush and a comb. And then we have her nighttime toy that sings to her to keep her comfortable. Now if you come to my side of the bed, you'll see that I don't have as much because I do not do night shift, but I still have necessities that she needs. I don't have as much, but if I do do night shift, which is a f maybe a few times, um, once a week or something like that, I have the things that I need. So I have wipes, I have lotion because I do do nighttime after bath, I like to um, lotion her down. I have a pacifier for her, a teething ring, two bibs, and then in here this is my little diaper changing station because it's very easy for me to just roll out on the bed just in case we have an explosion 
and I have diapers. I have little trash bags and a little changing station for myself. And this is my diaper station. It's um, made for myself because these are the things that I use the most when I do have her. We also have a mini station in our bathroom for bath time. We have lotion, um, body wash, two body washes, calming and comfort, and wash and shampoo, as well as two in one for Big Brother. And then we have the bathtub below. We do our bath time in the actual tub, in Bubby's tub, but we put the tub inside there to make it easier. So this is an easy station to have. We just actually made this out of pallets and then we hung it on the wall and it holds a lot of stuff and it's very easy to hang and very nice to have as a little shower caddy holder for the kids. So our last station we have is in our shower because we realized quickly that it is a lot easier to take the baby in shower than it is to put her in the tub. So we decided to make a mini baby shower station. We have two um, wash rags, one for the face, one for the body, and then hair and body wash, and then comfort and calming for her, and then of course a towel, and it's just really easy to go in there with her and take a quick shower and get out. Alright guys, so I got to show you all of our baby changing stations as well as our two bathroom stations for the baby. And like I said, these stations are very helpful when you have the baby and you forgot your last minute thing. It's just nice to have everything there. Um, I recommend every day before you go to bed to just refill your station and then you're ready to go for the next day. So this is our tip for Tuesday. We hope you enjoy it. This is going to be our new segment. We're going to try to give new and moms, new parents, everybody advice that we wish we had every Tuesday. So make sure you watch our videos, like, comment. We love the interaction. Anything, um, any advice that you guys want to give us, we love the feedback. So please make sure you like our video. If you really like it, we will definitely do more tips for Tuesday. So please like, comment if you think our tip is um, helpful as well as subscribe because we're going to have more tips coming in. I think next week is a very helpful tip. The wife actually came up with it herself, so I might actually let her do the video. So guys, thank you for watching. We enjoy all of you. We love all of you. You guys are our motivation to keep going and keep making videos to help you guys out and to have fun. So thanks for watching and love you.